a sinner. I made all kinds of mistakes, but I'm thankful for the blood, hallelujah, that cleansed me from all unrighteous things. You want to find somebody that mistakes? Just look in the mirror. We all make them. But thank God for the blood, hallelujah. Fire and bell. Ron Ecker, guy traveled with me for 17, 18 years. We had a crusade chain from overseas to northern Ontario, gold mining community called Marathon. Never was there before. And when I went there, what was interesting about it was there was a church and a community filled with backslidden Newfoundlanders. They had all been brought up in the system of the church in Newfoundland. They all came to Marathon, working in the mines, making big money, and all of them became drunks. And you don't want to fight Newfoundlanders. They got hard heads when they fight. They do. I don't mean that in a bad way. They just, and, and so they drank a lot. And it seemed like when they got away from the fire, they went to the world. And we went there for a weekend. We ended up being there for a number of weeks. But when the fire started to fall, it fell in the mine. When the fire started to fall in the mine, when we were praying in the day, people would leave the job, come into the church and say, I don't know what's wrong. But I got, what happened? Conviction hit the whole area. When conviction hit the area, they started running into the church saying, I've got to get my life right with God. I don't know what's going on. It's hitting me right in the mind. I thought, thank God. It's hitting them right in the mind. Do you know that you can pray for your street? Do you know that you can ask God that the fire would fall on your block, can fall on your neighbors, can fall on the children, can fall on every school that you drive back and front air on a daily basis, that sin would con be convicted, that drug pushers, those that want to destroy this generation, could be arrested by the power of the Holy Ghost, and that we could claim a generation for God, hallelujah, it won't happen by a petition, but it will happen when my people, which are called by my name, shall turn from, listen, when they start to seek heaven, turn from their wicked ways, tell us to heal the land. What's he want to bring? He wants to bring fresh fire. Because he's going to find a bunch of people that are forgetting about religion, forgetting about issues that don't matter at all, and are concerned about humanity. Restore within me a fire, Lord, that I once had. Hallelujah. Can you imagine what could happen? You imagine thank God for your roots but thank God for today the reason you're in the land of the living is God's got you here for a purpose you're not here to take up why would God preserve you to the 21st century when we know that the cares of the world would cover the whole earth that we know that the world is in trouble why would he preserve you to sit back and watch it happen no to stand up and shut Bring fresh fire. Do something we haven't seen. Do it in me, Lord, first. Let fire well up within me. Let me be ignited by something from heaven that when I touch somebody, they're going to be changed, transformed by the power of Almighty God. It's got nothing to do with your age. It's got to do with purpose. doesn't matter what you have. When you take your last breath, you won't have anything. Say, I got a million, it doesn't matter. I don't care if you got 50,000, 100,000, I don't care what you got. It doesn't matter. It's not the issue. Say, I got a degree or a pedigree, it doesn't matter. What is important right now is humanity. We just have to look at the news to know the world is headed for destruction and for hell. And somehow, there has to be somebody with a life preserver to throw to them. There must be somebody with a lifeline that can change their life. There must be somebody that's got something to give away to somebody that's dying. There's an empty world right now. Where is 
the saints. Oh, we leave that up to the preacher. One percent of Christianity was never meant to affect the world. It was 99 percent, which is laity, was supposed to affect the world. The fivefold ministry, one percent of Christianity, was to de deposit something into the church that would provoke the church to change their world. The fivefold ministry is for the perfecting, maturing, developing of the body that you'll avail yourself to do what God's called you to do. There should be a dream within every person in this room to do what you haven't done. God wants to provoke you. He wants to shake you. You say, you don't understand where I'm at. doesn't matter where you're at. It's where you're going. Say, I'm retired. Get refired. I'm talking about fire. Joy of the Lord is still your strength. Not your money, not your job, not your influence. That's not what's powerful right now. The devil doesn't care. Your strength is in the joy of the Lord. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Come on, you can do better than that. Hallelujah. 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 See the simplicity of worship when the fire fell. Just an anointed praise from a mouth that loves God. Tears start to flow. Things start to happen. Everything starts to flow into your spirit. And when the fire starts to fall, stuff that's plagued you starts to vanish. It burns right up in the fire. Hallelujah. Just a few more moments. It won't be long, church. And if you're not one, you better claim it. You better understand the bridegroom is coming. Can you hear me this morning? You better, whether you like it or don't like it, I, I'm imploring you, get your lamp filled. Get your life in order. And start to ask for fresh fire. Don't worry about circumstances. Don't worry about the economy.